Hello everyone, my name is Cliff and welcome back to my channel. This is Cliff's Dark Gems. Today in celebration of Zombie Awareness Month, I'm going to be doing the Zombie Apocalypse Tag. Stay tuned. Okay everyone, I was tagged by Cat over at Cat's Novel Adventures. That is a freaking awesome channel, be sure to check it out. And she's also the host of the Zombie Thon for this month. Um, it's been a lot of fun reading zombie books and zombie short stories all month. Uh, yeah, check out her channel. I know the original creator of this channel, of this, sorry, of this tag was Nathan Hale. Um, I don't think he's active anymore, but let's go on with the rules. First of all, you have to pick five books. Now, they have to be books that you read. Uh, they can be random, your favorite books. I've picked five books, but I've been trying to be a little bit eclectic in terms of this tag. So here goes. I've picked Harry Potter and the Order of the Phoenix, something completely different. I've picked Thomas Harris, The Silence of the Lambs. I've picked my favourite novel, Swan Song, by Robert McCammon. And then we have Coraline by Neil Gaiman. And finally, The Fellowship of the Ring, by J.R.R. Tolkien, Lord of the Rings. Okay, and then what you do is it's got to be kind of random, which book you choose first. So I've taken this lovely mug uh, that my wife got me. It's Cliff's Dark Gems and it's blood splattered. It didn't come out as well as we wanted, but on a piece of the paper I've written the names of all these books, all these novels, and I will take them out randomly. And for each book, there are two prompts. And by the time you've completed your fifth book, you have your zombie team. Now, I don't know if this is going to end well, but let's see, let's be optimistic. Uh, but yeah, it could be a bit of a disaster. Brains might be eaten. But let's go ahead anyway. So, for each book, the first book is Silence of the Lambs. So, what you have to do then is you choose the first two tags and you open at a random page. And the first name that you see, that is the name of the first member of your team. And the second name, you go through another page randomly. And that's the second member of your team. And you just go through the prompts like that. So let's get started. Okay, so the first prompt is the first person to die. Let's have a look here and see. Oh, I'm to find a name here. Dr. Letter. Oh my word. Okay. Well, it's actually a good thing that he dies first, because otherwise we might all be in a serious amount of trouble. So now we can worry just about the zombies chewing brains and not Dr. Lecter as well. One of the zombies chewing brains. Uh, so it's actually a really good thing to get rid of him first. Okay, second of all, the first person you trip, or the person you trip to get away from the zombies. Okay, let's go here. Uh, Here, Gum has opened up Mr. Gum, James Gum. Oh, James Gum, isn't he the guy that the other killer? Yes, Buffalo Bill. I'm pretty glad that I tripped him. Hey, I got away from two serious serial killers right from the beginning. This is going to be a good team, I can see it. Uh, yeah. Hopefully I tripped him and the zombies ripped him to pieces. I would stand aside and take photographs because he's not a very nice guy. So, he's dead. Okay, let's see what we got next. And believe me, this is completely random. Uh, right. Right. Lord of the Rings, the Fellowship of the Rings. Oh, just love this cover. It's beautiful. Right, let's go to a random page. Oh, and this is 
The first person to turn into a zombie. The gaffer. Who's the gaffer again? Oh yes, he's one of the hobbits right at the beginning in Hobbiton. He's a, he's a barman. Oh, that's not nice. Where are we going to get up here? Yeah. But still, okay, the gaffer. So he's the first person that turns into the zombie. Maybe he just wasn't quick enough. Didn't do the cardio. Maybe he's just drinking too much of his brew. Maybe he's just smoking too much of that weed in the, in the shire. But anyway, yeah, he's the first person. The hobbit. The gaffer. And number four. The first person, the person that trips you to get away from the zombies. That's not very nice. Very creative though. Okay, so let's have a look here. Bilbo. Bilbo trips me. But he's way too old. I can't believe that he would have tripped me. I didn't think he would have had it in him. I thought he was a nice Nice hobbit, nice old hobbit. But hey, I suppose in a zombie apocalypse it's every man and hobbit for himself. Uh, but yeah, okay. If Bilbo trips me, so be it. Okay, next book is going to be... Swan Song. Right, my favourite novel of all time. Ah, Swan Song. And the idiots on the team. Okay, that's interesting. Let's see who the idiot on the team is. Um, I've got to find a name here. Yeah? Doyle Helland. Okay. The fact that I cannot remember Doyle Halland in this book means he's probably one of the minor characters. Um, so if he's an idiot, he'll probably just run into the face of the zombies like uh, and get killed immediately. And he's a minor character, so no one really cares about him anyway. So that's Doyle Halland. Bye-bye. See you next Tuesday. Okay, next up we have the brains of the team. Let's see who it is. Sister! Oh, I love Sister. She's so awesome. And for those of you that don't know, she is an awesome character. She's a great character. And she's got a lot of brains on her. So actually, we might just have a chance. Uh, these zombies, she's actually quite resourceful. She does things in such a way. We actually might survive this. Good for that. Sister. Awesome. Right, and the next book we got is... There's only two left. Harry Potter! Right. Harry Potter and the Order of the Phoenix. And this one is the Team Medic. Okay, I'm not sure how much a medic is going to be needed in a zombie apocalypse. He's going to be mending the wounds and he's going to get bitten himself. But okay, let's have a look. Take my glasses off. As you can see, I read without glasses or with reading glasses. Right, let's look here. Ministry of Magic. Mm -hmm. Professor Umbridge. Okay, she's not a very nice woman in this. I think she's actually, yeah, kind of a bitch to all the kids at school, in the Magic Hogwarts school. Um, so, yeah, she could be the medic. We can send her, send her in there to, to save our team. And hopefully, once she saved them, she can get gnawed on herself. Uh, I thought that pink of hers, oh, I can't stand it. Horrible character. But, hey, she might have some skills, um, and she can save some of my team, but then let the zombies have her. That's what I say. Professor Umbridge. Okay, prompt number eight is the weapons expert. All right, let's see who the weapons expert is on the team. Oh, 
I'm not cheating here. Harry Potter. Harry is our weapons expert. You know, so a little bit of a combination between Harry being the brains of the team. Oh, sorry, the weapons expert of the team. And the brains of the team being, I can't remember who that other character was. But I think a combination of them two, we might actually just survive. I'm not feeling so bad about this team. That is Harry. He can bring out his wand and he can take those zombies apart with his wand. Okay, prompt number nine and we're on the final book. I don't have to pick out of my mug anymore. And that is Coraline. Okay, so prompt number nine is the brawler, and from that I understand is the fighter, someone who can fight well, right? And let's go. I should have chosen a bigger book, Coraline. She's a fighter. She might be a bit small for that. Um, hey, but sometimes dynamite comes in small packages, and she might know something we don't know. And also, she's kind of quite tough in this book. So, yeah, maybe don't write her off. But, yeah, I'm not so comfortable with having this little girl being our brawler. But, hey, stranger things have happened. Coraline is our brawler. And finally, we have the team's captain. Okay. I can't choose Coraline again. Maybe I should have chosen a bigger book. Too many Coralines here. Yeah, no other names here. Let me check over there. are the ghost children so there's the wing girl so they are already dead so they actually might be pretty good as captain because they can give us some advice on these zombies and they can tell us what their weaknesses are because they're kind of spirits they're dead so they might be able to help us that's not so bad um, so yeah I'll go with the wing girl as our captain advise us on this zombie states of mind because they did as well and then yeah we can just kill them all okay everyone that's my responses to the zombie apocalypse tag i hope you enjoyed that i had a lot of fun all in all i think i've got a pretty good team uh, the survivors anyway um, some good leaders and some good brains brain trust um yeah so i think i've quite confident about my chances of survival for this particular tag. I hope you enjoy that. Please like, comment and subscribe. Uh, be sure to leave a comment in the section below, down dark below. And take care of yourselves. Um, in terms of tagging people, I'll just make it open. Whoever really wants to do this tag, I'd love to see you do this tag. Uh, perhaps two people, maybe Holly at Crook's, Crook's book. I'd love to see her do this tag, and let's just think of someone else random, uh, the Vintage Viking, I'm going to tag you. Uh, but for anyone else who wants to do this tag, let's just keep it completely open. So, without further ado, without further ado, take care of yourselves, keep those pages turning, and cheers.